All right then, so I hear you wanna get a camera switcher or camera controller or controls rather uh, in your game, but you're not sure how to do it. We're gonna create one for your keyboard and for your mouse wheel. So stay tuned for that. All right, so we are in UE5, but this is the same process in UE4, if that's what you're using, doesn't really matter. So uh, this is my character and I'm gonna open up his blueprint. Everything we'll do is gonna be in here. This is the health section from my last tutorial. If you haven't looked at that, check that out if you wanna know how to do health system. Move that out of the way anyway and we'll crack on right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the V key. Um, there's two ways you can do this if you are quite new. You can either type in V key and get the v key or the better way to do it is to go to your project settings and go down to input and then you can create a ma action mapping by hitting the plus icon there call this camera or something like that and then you can go to keyboard there and find your v key da -da -da there so this way is the best way to do it because you can add other action mappings for like game pads or whatever on there as well if you wanted the game pads um i don't know top button or something top face button where are we button button top that is the y button or the triangle on the xbox um on a playstation Anyway, so you can do that. That's the better way to do it. And then what we can do in here is just call camera action. It comes under input action events camera. So there we are. Any button that we assign to that will work. Right. So let's get through this. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to pull off here and type in whoop, multi gate. If you don't know what a multi-gate is, um, it basically every time this gets triggered, it'll fire pin number zero. And then the next time it gets fired, it'll fire, um, fire off number one, and then number two, and whatever, how many, however many you've got. It'll cycle through them one at a time each time this is pressed, and then it'll start again if you press loop. If you don't press loop, it'll just do nothing once it gets to the last, once it's done the last pin. But we're going to turn looping on. You can also turn random on, um, you know, if you wanted them to be random. But in this case scenario, we don't. So we're going to turn that off. Uh, we're going to need some uh, variables. So what I'll do is just call this, I'll just call it A. <laughs> That'll do us. And we'll call that one B. So we've got two floats, A and B. Going to compile them. And what we'll do then is we'll drag by holding Alt, drag it out and leave it there and drag out B as well. So we're going to put them together, connect them up and connect them to the these, these zero pin. We're going to make a bit of room there. We're then going to copy and paste these four times because we've got four pins. And we don't have to have four. It depends how many different camera distances you want to cycle through. I've got three. You're always going to want an extra one. Um, that's to return back to the, the beginning. I'll show you that in a sec. So I'll just connect these up. Yep. Um, what we're going to do is choose our our distances. Now, if you click the, ca the camera boom, oops, you can my things off out of the screen. Our target arm length is there and it's 300. So that's a nice place to start anyway. So we're basically going to start at 300 and we're going to uh, move it up to say 500 on the first price. So it goes up by two. Now the first one on the second set here has got to be the same as that one. So it's 500 and we're going to go up to 700. We'll go up in twos. So this one will be 700. This one will be 900. 900. And this one will be 900 and then back to 300 because it's going to return back to the beginning. So that's all done. Let's pull off here and call it, uh, type in timeline. 
and you can give it a name if you like I'm not gonna bother um, we're gonna connect all of these up to the play and then we are gonna double click it we're gonna hit float and you can call this alpha if you like and we can right click in the box here and add a key and then we can right click again add another key select your first key go zero for the time and zero for the value select the second key and let's go i don't know 0.5 of a second say and then put one you can hit these two buttons here to kind of bring them into screen so this one is zero and zero this one is 0 0.5 and one and then up here this has to be 0 0.5 as well because it should match this right there and that's it close that that's done happy days so now what we want to do is actually affect the target arm length right there so what we'll do is we'll pull out pull out the camera boom reference drag off that and type in target arm length so we got get and we got set target arm length there so we're going to update that but we're going to want to make it nice and smooth so we're going to put that down by there a sec pull off here and we're going to go and type in loop this is a float loop um in the a we're going to control drag our a out there in fact i'm going to pull these back a bit and make more room um and we're going to put the b control drag the b out and put it into the b and then the alpha is this right here you probably guessed that and i'm just going to move these up to make it a little more neater <laughs> kind of and believe it or not that is it just compile and save press play and i press v and it goes out and I press v again and now what you notice now is it's not smooth anymore it's only smooth the first time and that's because we've got everything plugged into play and we want what we want to do is control hold control down click and drag and put it into play from start and now when we press play press v it goes to the 500 and then to 700 then the 900 and then back to 300 and that is it's that simple it does mean that if you stab the key you do get a bit of jerkiness but you know can't have everything so that is it right so we're going to move that out of the way so what if you want your mouse to be controlling the um the distance of the camera rather than just pressing a button you want to be able to scroll your mouse wheel and have that work as well so right so what we're going to do is right click type in mouse wheel and we're going to go to mouse wheel access 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 and then we're going to pull off the access value basically what this does if i type print string oh by the way if you ever drag off a float and type in print string it'll automatically connect it to the duration instead of the actual string so let's plug it into the string and if i press play you can see zeros are coming up there and if i scroll down it's hard to see because it's so quick but i think it's like basically saying negative one and if you scroll upwards it's one positive one so that's basically what you're getting from that access it's either negative or plus one depending on which way you're going so how can we use that right so if you pull off there and put less than symbol and then we pull off that because it's a boolean press b and we got a branch plug that in there and what we will do is also pull off that actually and put a greater than symbol pull off that and get another branch so if it's false we can plug that into that so if it's great if it's less than uh zero uh, if that's false we're going to check if it's greater than zero so uh, what we'll do is we will have to create another variable we just call this a2 <laughs> i i'm not I, i'm making up these names just you can call them whatever you want to be honest but um my mind isn't being very creative at the moment so i'm just calling them that so alt drag out so we can set a2 
and we're going to do connect that to the true uh, what we're going to have to do here is get control drag a2 out <coughs> excuse me uh, pull off that and put plus uh, it's going to make some room here so we got plus and i'm going to put something like you can play around with this value but i think 20 is pretty good and then i'm going to drag that and connect it up to a2 so i'm going to get a2 oh by the way we need to compile and set this to 300 because that's our lowest uh, range up there so 300 we're going to plus 20 to it and then we're going to set it at that so it'll be 320 right makes sense and then we're going to get the target arm length again so we can just grab this grab the boom as well copy bring it down here paste and plug that into that and then what about the the other way so what we're going to do is pull off there and put minus oop, minus subtract whatever and uh, we subtract 20 and basically do the exact same thing we copy and paste those plug that into that plug that into that and plug that into that so we've got a nice symmetrical bit of code going on look at that so we compile and save press play and when i scroll the mouse down it goes out and when i scroll it up it comes back in and everyone's happy so we got that. It's, it is a little bit jerky. It's not as smooth as pressing the V key. But you know what? It'll work. It works. Now, what? Hang on. What, you probably noticed just now that if I press the V key, say, to there, and then I scroll my mouse wheel just a little bit, it jumps back down to 300. So that's because it's set at 300. So the way we can change that is if we actually alt drag it out at the end of here and just plug that into that. So we'll set A2 at whatever this is set at, right? So if I press play now and then I press V twice maybe and then I scroll my wheel, it doesn't jump back down. It actually starts from wherever it is. Um, the other way around though, the V... It doesn't seem to be if I, I can scroll <laughs> way out here look at this uh, if i press v though it will stick to the these values unfortunately here but there's not a lot we can do about that unfortunately so anyway that is it so i will see you in the next video hope you enjoyed and got something from that ciao blau from me